Hey, what's up, people? Vasquez here coming at you for another round. And today I'm playing the game Killer Frequency. Now, this is an indie horror game. For, it was created for the uh, Adventure Jam 2019 competition. Completed in two weeks, by the way. Very impressive. Uh, I'll leave a link well, in the description. With Just getting straight I'll to the always action. Find you. They sure don't make okay. them like they used to, folks. Thank I'll Lord finish this later. We're now in the midnight hour. You're listening to 189.16, The Scream, with me, Forrest Nash. We're going to take a quick break here. I'll be back taking your calls after we get the news. Charming as always, Forrest. I know smoke. Now hit the channel for the news on the radio desk, and let's bring our listeners up to speed with what's happening out there. Okay, so as I was saying, this takes place in the 80s, and you're essentially playing a radio host that has to Forrest. sort of help people. Hit the news button on the radio desk already. Yeah, you sort of have to help people from a serial killer that's on the loose. And yeah, it sort of plays like this other what game called Do You... What are you waiting for? Hit the news button on the radio desk. Called Do You Copy, so... Leave a link in the description. The local news for the town of Gallows Creek is brought to you by Fanny's Fire. Listen to this. All right. With a wide range of small caliber handguns, we put the pop in mom and pop. Apparently everything was created by scratch for this game. Tonight we bring you the shocking revelation that a convicted maniac is on the loose. Yes, see? Having escaped from the local penitentiary, the local sheriff, who is just weeks from retirement, has urged the public to follow his example by cool. staying inside and locking their doors. A killer prowls our streets tonight, listeners. Stay safe. Stay inside. I'll have more on the hour. Very story-driven. Frequency. It's hell of a hell of an intro. One eight nine point one six. Would have worked better earlier, but whatever. Whoa! Our switch port is on fire. I've never seen this many incoming calls. There's literally no calls well, right. here. You're up. Press the mic button on the radio desk. Okay, here we go. Well, that was a local bulletin breaking the story that some nutbags on the loose. Hey, maybe yeah. they're a fan of the show. <laughs> uh, well, you know who our listeners are. Both of them. Ouch. Anyway, time to take our first call of the night. Self-deprecating humor. Yeah. Now, I like take it. the call by pressing one of the lit buttons on the switchboard. Okay. You're tuned to 189.16 The Scream. You're live on air. One, two, three. What are we talking about tonight? takes place in the 80s. Anyway, as I'm driving, I notice that the tank is completely empty. Thankfully, I see a sign for gas. I pull in, roll to a stop, but why do you know? There's nobody around. Not a soul in sight. So I guess I'm stuck here. Okay. Oh, get to me. All right, here we go. Why call me? What's Betamax? I do know what Betamax is, so I don't have to ask that. Be careful out there. Let's go with why call me. This is a radio talk show, pal. If you have a problem with your car, call Breakdown. Now get off the line so I can talk to one of our actual listeners. Please, Ooh, please. rude. I just need to get home. I've already tried calling every number I know. Yours are so easy to remember. That jingle is catchy. And hey, did I mention I sell home theater equipment? Betamax is the video technology of the future, my friend. If you help me, well, let's just say I'm more than happy to help you uh, get a sweet deal on a video cassette recorder. I think Ooh. you should help him, especially with that creep prowling around out there. And who turns down a sweet deal on a new VCR, right? Okay, let's see. Um, can you get to safety? What can you see? Where are you? Uh, where are you? Uh, all right. In the interest of your own safety, where exactly are you? are you right now well let's see i'm outside the gas station on the corner to my left i can see a park with a weird looking guy sort of staring at me hey pal take a walk further down kilkenny avenue there's a row of four houses maybe one of the residents can help me all right that's where i'm headed when i get closer i'll call you back remember somehow i need to get gas for my car Helping stranded out-of-town salespeople is not part of our regular programming, but 
we like to do all we can to please our listeners. I'm going to play something for you right now. Stay tuned. Okay, hit the music button on the radio desk. Then Ooh. let's think about how we can help this guy. Let's see. He needs to somehow oh. get gas for his car. Oh, okay, I can move. He's heading down Kilkenny Avenue towards the row of houses. Can let's someone inside one of those houses help, perhaps? Go, Kenny. Hmm. When you're okay. ready to take another call, sit back at your desk. I hope he keeps away from that guy in the park. That did not sound good. Let's hope he calls back. Killer, obviously. Okay, so got to find some houses on Kilkenny and Kilkenny Avenue West. Okay, I know what your traffic announcers refer to this. Road closures. Kilkenny. Kilkenny is closed. Anything over here? Absurdly large key, some cassettes, mug, yellow pages, phone this book. Is the telephone directory for the town. Okay. Let's see. Kello Creek residence. I don't know why I would need to know this. Pretty sure I don't. Can I do anything else with this? Hold right to... Oh. Guess not. Okay, never mind. Not important. Let's this look at this. This the whole town. Kilkenny Avenue. So where's the gas station? Where's the... Okay, gas station's over here. He said he was going on Kilkenny Avenue West, right? Kilkenny Avenue West is closed. Should be, anyway. I don't know. Okay, well, he's supposed to get to a gas station, right? Kilkenny... Okay, so I totally forget what he said, to be honest with you. Let me... Good to know if you're driving. Got a lot of sounds. Also, can I just say, considering the radio station is called the, uh, the Scream, it's very on the nose. All right, what's in here? The only gas station in Gallows Creek. Oh. Arthur Bell. And what's this? Padlock. This Bob's locker. It's locked. All right. So is there anything I need to know? Bob's birthday. October 10th, 1987. That's undoubtedly the, uh, the what do you call it? The combination. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with this key. Can I just... Is this an inventory or... No, it's just pick it up. Alright. So... God, I really should have listened to that guy. Okay, he's trying to get to a gas station. He's... Somewhere. Some houses. Okay. It's locked. I bet the key's around here somewhere. Oh. What well, narrows this down, doesn't it? Key. Key. Oh, I just threw the key. That was my bad. Did not mean to throw the key. Okay, here. Wait, wait, wait. Ha ha! I did a thing. Anything else in here? What's this? Cardboard box? No, I just... Alright, I guess I don't need to touch that. Alright, screw it, let's just do this. We're doing a thing. A on the line. Hit the mic button when you're ready to go on air. I am ready. Welcome back. I'm always Mr. ready. Looks like we have someone waiting on the line. Let's find out what they want to talk about tonight. Exactly. Hey Fran, let's make this quick. You don't get much time on these newfangled cellular phones. Okay, I'm on Kill Kenny. I'm stood in front of the four houses. Hey buddy, I told you. I was supposed to look up which house to take. I didn't look that up. Um. We'll knock on the door at number three. I believe the guy who runs the gas station lives there. Oh, really? Well, I'll show up. He's home. Oh, God, still following me. Turn the lights off again. 
Okay, okay that's what we've done. what you needed. Now head back to the gas station, and if I were you, I'd stick to the main road and keep an eye out for that weirdo. Well, speaking of main roads, I walked all the way down Kilkenny Avenue, only to find the darn roads closed. Remember, I'm heading towards Coast House Highway. When I set off from the gas station, I'll first come to Kilkenny and Woodland. Be a sport and give me directions. Ah, oh, shoot, my cell battery's almost gone. Remember, friend, a sweet deal on a video cassette recorder. I'll call you back. What? Hey, this is not tourist information, friend. Sweet deal my ass. I don't even own a TV. Despite what you're hearing, I assure you this is the area's only late night radio phone in. We'll be back after some more music. Okay, so I got lucky on that one. He's at the gas station. He wants to get to the Coast House Highway. He said the first crossroads he'll come to is Kilkenny and Woodlands. Kilkenny and Woodlands. I'm nervous of that guy. Hey, maybe he'll run Coast. into that creep and we won't have to deal with him. Ugh. Dark. Jeez, what am I saying? Sit back at your desk when you want to take the next call. Okay, so he makes a left, then a right, and then after this one keeps going straight and then left. Okay, so left, right, left. I'm guessing. Okay, that's easy enough. How the hell was I supposed to know the gas station this guy? This is the telephone directory for the town. Oh, okay, so these are the houses. One, two, three, and four. Mr. A. Bell. Is that the... I'm just curious how we're supposed to solve, how we're supposed to know this, I should say. The only gas station in Galveston. Bell's Gas, okay, Arthur Bell, yeah. All right. So, I got the right answer subconsciously. Yeah. My brain was totally firing on all cylinders. Probably thought I just guessed. But you're wrong. We have I a knew. On the line. Hit the mic button when you're ready to go on air. It's what you do when you're that okay, good. Okay, listeners, we're Just back. Thanks. And hey, look, someone's trying to get through. Oh boy, I wonder who it could be. Should we find out? Well, he's more excited than I am. Granted, it is sarcasm, but still. Hey, you picked up. I knew you would. You know, you have a very trustworthy voice. Anyway, I got the car gassed up, and I'm on my way. All right, I'm sitting at Kilkenny and Woodlands. Which way do I turn? Left. You want to take a left. Right you are. Okay, now I'm at another crossroads. This one is Mars and Woodlands. Y'all still there? Which way do I go? To the right. To the right. Okay, so at the crossroads, you want to take a right. Okay, here we go. I see the sign for the highway. Thanks, pal. You're a real lifesaver. So long, Gallows Creek. Maybe I'll skip the conference next year. Bye, friend. You ever in the market for a nice new VCR? You call me, okay? Nice work, Forrest. Well, how about that, listeners? Not your usual type of caller, but happy ending nonetheless. Cool! A traveling home entertainment salesman, huh? Well, we all want escapism, right? Especially when it means an escape from certain death. Okay, what do we have next? Yeah, let's, Forrest, um... we have another caller on the line. Oh, just hit the button. Okay. Three, two, and then one. Caller, you're through to me, Forrest Nash on 189.16 to scream. It's past midnight. What would you like to talk about? Hello, sir. I'm the general manager at the town's radio shed. We only sell the best audio-visual equipment. I'm doing a little bit of late-night stock-taking, and of course, our radios are always tuned to your show, and well, Ooh. that news report had me just a, just a little bit of perturb, I could say. Okay, you're safe inside, call the police. Yeah, you're safe inside. Well, you're safe inside, right? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Ah, uh, yes, well, uh, the thing is, uh, there's a rather large uh, person who has been pounding on the door, and I'm getting no answer from our good sheriff. Now, I've turned off all the lights, and I'm hiding behind the counter, but every time I make a sound, uh, <laughs> he starts breaking down my door. And uh, it's almost like he's attracted to noise, I would say. Radio Shed is like the only place in town that sells radios. We need to help this guy. 
Okay then, let's see. So describe the store. White items are nearby. Stay quiet, stay hidden. Yeah. If I were you, I'd stay quiet. I'd keep out of sight. Maybe they'll go away. So let's see. Uh, I'm under the counter near the door. There's a stack of uh, TVs right next to the counter. There's also the tape decks on the aisle behind me, I think. Hmm. The radios are right in the back of the store. Oh, oh, and uh, there's a server bell on top of the counter. He's going to be inside any minute now. Uh, yeah. You have any bright ideas? All right, turn on the TV, turn on the tape deck, turn on the radio. The radio's in the back of the store, right? So what he's... Okay, turn on the radio. Hey, switch on one of those radios at the back of the store. I have an idea. All righty, uh, let me just go uh, and uh, do that now. Well, uh, well, it's on now. It's tuned to your station. Over to you. Okay, Forrest. Now call the creep over. Oh, hey, it's me. Okay. Don't hurt me. Psst, over here. What's that smell? Check under the count. Oh, no, that's way too dark. Don't do that. Let's go here. Psst, hey, over here. Hey, I have really good stuff here at the back. Ha! It worked! And uh, I'm gonna make a rip for it now. Hmm. Did it get away? Okay. Our listeners are counting oh. on us tonight. Let's both try and keep it together. Take a breath, and when you're ready, take the next call. Okay. Do I get... Okay, just straight to the next call. All right. Caller, you're live on air. Now, I know things Doing are a little so crazy far. out there tonight, so just let me say I hope you're calling from somewhere safe. Oop. Anyway, what do you want to talk about? Can I help you? Out of breath? Who is this? Um. Caller, you through to Forrest Nash and live on air. How can I help you tonight? I know you've been trying to help them. I can't let you do that anymore. I'm outside your building. You may feel safe in there, but I'm coming for you. I'm uh -oh. not your lights out. Things are about to get. Hey, what happened? Are we still on air? No, I think he tried to cut the power, but it looks like he just tripped a fuse or something. <laughs> Probably did more harm to himself than us. You know, when people told me local radio was where you go to die, I thought they were just talking about my career. But anyway, let's at least try and get the lights back on. Well, how do we do that? I'm your friendly neighborhood radio personality, not your local electrician. There's a circuit breaker in the storage cupboard. The door to it may be locked, but the keys are with you in the studio somewhere. Yeah, I think I've already figured that one out. So let's see here. Um, I bet this would tell me which order to flip the switches in. If only I could read foreign. Read foreign. That's okay. That's that's one way of doing it. Um. Okay. Good job, Mr. Go. Nash. Talk show host. Okay. Emergency responder. Handyman. Now it's time to get back on air and see if we have any listeners left. So I pretty much did it from this one. Then I, I forget the order I did it. I'll just leave it in the video. I pretty much just went over and over again until eventually I got the right answer. Oh, before I go there first, let me do this. Uh, Bob's birthday. 10-10-1987. Let's see. This is Bob's locker. It's oh. locked. So it's going to be one... Or it's going to be... 1987. Wait, let's do it. Ah, screw it. I got to go all the way. 
that. Okay. Let me try this again. Oh, 1010. Okay. Huh. There's some information about the hospital on the card. Myers Lane. I. Huh. There's some information about the hospital. Appointment on the card. 12 at 5 o'clock. Okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that, but I'm guessing it's for this last caller. So let's give it a All shot. Right. We're back up and running. And hey, look at that. Somebody's waiting on the line. Ooh. Well, let's hope it isn't that creep again. Just treat it like any other call. Whenever you're ready, Forrest. Oh, straight to the phone lines. Call I like it. Live on one eight nine sixteen. Straight to the, the action. Talking to me, Forrest Nash. What do you want to say tonight? Yeah, I uh, I was just listening to your show. I'm uh, studying at the library ahead of my exams. There's this like majorly creepy guy who keeps walking past the window and looking in at me. I think it might be the guy from the news report. Mm. Uh oh. So you called me? Called the police. I don't believe you. Let's go with, um... Yeah, why don't you call the police? Uh, this is not our area of expertise, ma'am. Call the professionals. No, I tried calling the sheriff's office. Nobody is picking up. Listen, I am seriously freaking out here. My little brother is in the hospital. I need to get there and make sure he's safe. I'll be safe there, too. They have security guards. She sounds really scared. We need to help this girl. Hide somewhere, run away, stay where you are. Yeah, stay where you are. Maybe it's best if you just stay where you are. I mean, he's outside, right? Oh my god, did you hear that? Look, I need help finding the hospital, and my mind is all over the place. I need directions. I think there's another phone near the library's entrance. I'll head there and call you back. But please, be ready to tell me which way to go when I make a break for it. Folks, you're listening to 189.16 The Scream. I'm going to play a record for you now, and when we return, we can get back to our caller on the line. Stay tuned. We have a killer show lined up. Keep up with the wisecracks, and we'll have more than one murder on air tonight. Now go to the music, and then see if you can find a way to help this girl. Uh, okay. She said she was at the library and needed to get to the hospital. If I was coming out at the library, which way would I go? And what was Are you that? Ready to take another call? Sit back at your desk. Well, let's hope she calls back. Okay. And why did that guy break the glass? Why didn't he just go through the door? I mean, okay. So I'm guessing, make a left, make a right, then make another right. Myers Lane goes to Myers Lane. And what did that note say? It gets to Myers Lane. Huh. There's some information about the hospital on the card. Okay, note to patients. Main entrance is locked after midnight in case of emergency ring buzzer for night porter. I'm guessing that's important. Okay. Just again. Left. Right. Right. All right. We have a caller on the line. Hit the yeah, button. We're I ready know. to go on air. I totally got this. Oh, yeah. We're back and ready to take another call. Let's go to the phones and see who we have on the line. Hey, it's me. I managed to sneak down the hall, but I can hear him creeping around back there. I think he's looking for me. I'm stood right by the main entrance. He's coming. Which way should I go? Okay. To the left. Get outside and turn left. Go. Okay. I'm going to break for the hospital. I have this bad feeling they lock the doors after midnight. I may need help finding another way in. If I make it, I'll call you. Okay, she got away. 
Did you just hang up the phone? You're listening to 189.16 The Scream, keeping you safe from crazed psychopaths and bringing you the old-timey hits. We'll be right back. Don't touch that dial. All right. Do I get up? Oh, music. She said she didn't think she'd be able to get into the hospital. Mm. Surely there's another way in. I think I've seen something about that somewhere. Well, when you're yeah. ready to take another call, sit back at your desk. Well, let's hope she calls back. Oh, wait. I did not even check out these road closures. Uh-oh. What's this? Chokesville Terrace? Not a road there. Chokesville Terrace. Is there anything? Okay, I think I'm I think I'm good. I don't think I set her astray. Alright, so we're gonna try this we again. Have a on the line. Hit the mic button when you're ready to go on air. I totally we're back know what for I'm our doing. Next thrilling installment. Let's find out who we have on the line. Okay, ring the buzzer. Yeah. Okay, listen to me. I know this sounds crazy, but keep calm and ring the buzzer. There should be a night porter there who can let you in. Alright, I can see the button. Here goes nothing. I can see someone coming to the door. She got shot? Haha, <laughs> sounds like she made it. Good for her. Sounds like Word she out got to shot. My boss. If you're listening, pal, that is how you keep an audience alive. This is 189.16, the screen. Okay. Great conversations, great tunes, great escapes. Amazing job. I think our show just came off life support. We're just going to pretend like that's normal. Okay, show's over. Thing? Time to wrap it up. It's 1 a.m., we are out of callers, and we're out of time. It's now 1 a.m. in our sleepy little town. We made it. We made it through the witching hour, folks. You've been tuned to 189.16 okay. The Scream, and you've been listening to me, Forrest Nash. I want to say thank you to all our callers tonight and to all our listeners. Pleasant dreams and good night. You hear that? I think I hear sirens. Finally, someone's coming to the rescue. Hey! I say give it a few minutes, and we'll be safe to leave. Amen to that. Grab a drink. Are you crazy? Um, uh, why not? Oh man, do I need a drink? Say, you want to join me? Sure. Whatever you want to do. Oh my lord, what a night! I can't believe that just happened. Right? Forest. Oh, let's see what you did there. Pretty good. All right, three of the three colors survived. Having escaped safely, she passed her exams with straight A's. Cool. Following the events, was promoted to regional manager. Nice. After a narrow call, his gas tank is topped up regularly now. Very cool. So, all right, that was Killer Frequency. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a pretty interesting indie game. Definitely can see how they could uh, flesh this game out a little bit more in the future. But I mean, for two weeks, that's not bad. Not bad at all. So yeah, kind of enjoyed it. Hopefully we see more from this. I'll just restart the cell. Okay, so... One sec. Alright, as I was saying, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Please subscribe for more contests. And we'll see you next time. See you in the next episode. Have a good one.